I'm Fleur, a member of the Church of the Good Shepherd. Welcome to today's Advent Thought for the Day. We carry on after Zechariah was struck dumb and look at Luke 1 verses 23 to 25. When his time of service was completed, he returned home. After this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days he has shown his favour and taken away my disgrace among the people. Zachariah wasn't able to speak, so it must have been very difficult for the couple to communicate and for Elizabeth to take in what had happened. But she believed her husband and trusted that God was going to do something amazing. She had faith. Zechariah and Elizabeth loved each other. They had been through a lot together and had lived with the disappointment of not being able to have children for such a long time. In those days, infertility was seen as a divine disfavour and a great deal of shame was attached to being childless, especially to the woman. Elizabeth must have felt great sorrow, exclusion and loneliness through the years as she saw friends and neighbours raising their families and she probably wondered why God hadn't blessed her with children. Today in the UK there is a lot of sympathy for childless couples and there are fertility treatments but there may still be pressure or expectation from family and friends that a couple will have children which adds to the upset and grief if you are longing for a family and nothing happens. What you've planned for in the future may have to be readjusted, which can be very hard. Elizabeth, now probably at least in her fifties and hopes of having a child long gone, is totally surprised by God with this miracle. What joy and excitement she now had and how thankful to God she was. She must have remembered how Sarah and Abraham from the book of Genesis were blessed with their son Isaac in their old age too. It may not have been what either family envisaged in their later years, but it was all in God's perfect timing. Instead of running out and telling all her friends she was pregnant, Elizabeth kept in seclusion for the first five months. We don't know why, but Maybe she was being very careful due to her age, or maybe she thought others wouldn't believe she was pregnant until she was showing an obvious pregnant bump. Elizabeth's seclusion reminds us of those pregnant women who have had to self-isolate because of COVID, and the loneliness and anxiety they may feel without the usual support of family and friends. We also remember those whose pregnancy hasn't gone to plan and the heartache that that can bring. Lord, give them comfort. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of parenthood, whether as a birth parent or through being a step-parent, adoptive parent or foster parent. But we also remember those who are desperate to have children and can't. Lord, Help them feel satisfied and valued in other roles they can play. We thank you for grandparents, aunties, uncles, other relatives and friends who help look after children and all those who nurture children in so many different ways. Child care providers, teachers, youth workers, dinner ladies, those who run children's holiday clubs and also sports clubs, all the after-school activities that they do. The lollipop men and women, the healthcare staff, doctors, nurses, those who babysit, neighbours and all those others who are kind and caring to children. Those in our church family, the staff in shops, libraries and museums who show interest and listen to the children and explain things. The list is endless. I'm sure we can all think of many people who 
who showed us kindness or go gave us words of wisdom or help when we were children. A word or act of kindness can make a big impression that can last a lifetime. So you see, whether you are a parent or not, God will use the nurturing gifts you have at the right moment and time and give you a role which is important and valued. You are loved. God wants good things for you. Hoping you all have a very happy Christmas. God bless. Bye for now.